here on the ball. In the centre it will be Firmino and Sadio Mane, another man coming back to face. Become expected for the manager of Salzburg, whoever he is, there's another chance to get a strike on target and it's taken as cool as you like. One goal to nil, the lead for Salzburg. And what are we, not even three minutes in to this friendly. Beautifully taken. And it is Daka who gets the goal. An uncharacteristic mistake by Fabinho. And he can't make up for it. He doesn't have the pace to track back and close down Daka quickly enough. Comfortably beaten. Salzburg. From the Senegalese forward. He charged forward and he'll just get his cross in. Only for the benefit. Right back who can play as centre back, Salah. But he stepped forward and allowed space to be created here for Berisha. Can he pick out the right ball? He can. And it's two goals to nil. What a lovely break for Salzburg. And it's that man again, Daka. Well, he did it all right, didn't he? And he shook off the attentions of Virgil van Dijk far too easily for the right decision. Could have taken it alone. Could have fluffed his lines. Did exactly what was for Sobolai, or from Sobolai, I should say. Flag stays. Now Salah. Cleverly done by Benedict. The outswinger. Right onto the edge of the six yard box, senior statesman in the Salzburg squad. The flag is up here as Mwepo creeps through. He doesn't agree with it and he wants to get on the score sheet as well against the English champions. Tidy passing from Salzburg again as they get through this time, but it doesn't quite come up with the quality of ball that he needed between now and then. Looking uh, far more difficult to penetrate in this match against Liverpool. Fine and attacking threats have yet to produce. Mane well, sets off and he's brought down on the edge of the area. Well, that acceleration of pace, absolutely lightning. And there was uh, practically no chance at all for Anguene to catch up with him. You can argue that he did his job absolutely proper save here. Roll back for Fabinho and... Up and over the bar by quite some distance by the defensive midfielder. It's in the centre here, Liverpool, as the ball comes over to Sobolai, who takes it on the volley. And wins his team a corner. Lovely move, lovely link-up play from Berisha and Daka once more. And the next effort from Sobolai that is blocked. Salah, Williams and Trent Alexander-Arnold from left-back Williams plays the ball into Mane. The flag has gone up against him for offside. But it's benefited Liverpool. Firmino. Wasn't really close. Fisher is in the centre. He looks like he wants to take it himself and perhaps just forgot where he was. The magnitude of the moment. Possibly getting to the youngster's head. Salah. Tucked back. Cleared off the line by Salzburg. 
Falti, I think it was, in the right place at the right moment to deny Liverpool an easy goal back. Romalo allows that one off. And that is the half-time whistle from referee Dieter Muckenhammer. Brings the first 45 minutes to a close, during which these fans... who has not come out for the remainder. Started against Stuttgart but now comes on to take on Salzburg. He has been taken by Minimino. It came via Southampton. A nice ball is pushed a little bit too wide and a good save and a big cheer from the crowd as they are delighted to see their senior shot stopper back in action. For Salzburg. On they come. Ulmer into the centre, and Gomez has to slide to turn it behind. Quick movement from the hosts as they are going in search of a goal that could put this tie beyond the Liverpool. But the captain, Ulmer, he's left fed the ball into the centre. A free header and the flag. The ball lost in the sun's glare. Salah didn't stop. James Milner's out swinger. Christensen with the clearance. Liverpool have a man down here in the box. It looks like it, I was going to say, could be Virgil van Dijk, and it is. It's parent club. Do. Minimino. But the ball to him is not good enough. Salah now on the left. Armani and Salah, first of all, coming off. Mwepo cut back nicely. Back to Daka, who steals it. And almost. And it's still not clear. And now that gets it back in the box. Cut back, and this should be a goal back for Liverpool. And it is. Poked home by Ryan Brewster. Two goals to one. And still plenty of time for Liverpool to turn this friendly around. And they've been knocking at the door. It's a lovely pass and move into the box. And really, the scorer is as all the kids in the verticomers are getting a run out now. Swung in by Harvey Elliott. Adrian is off his line here. He's asking to be chipped. Juan Benedi. Final remaining central midfielder. Dancing header back to his keeper. And there's an open goal waiting to be taken. And it is snapped up. What a gift to Liverpool as they make it to. And it's Brewster with a brace. Calamity at the back for Salzburg. They were able to pose a few questions at the start of this match, taking advantage. Hey, Jürgen, your thoughts on another really entertaining game with Salzburg? Yeah, entertaining most of the time in the wrong way. So, um, ah, so it obviously didn't look really good for, for big parts of the game, but I have to admit that um, uh, we had a really good camp. Sessions looked really good, boys were sharp, and now today it was obviously the day uh, where we had heavy legs. Then um, we, we, we played too complicated, yeah, gave the wrong people in the wrong moment the wrong ball. And um, it's always a little bit, I should, have, I should have known as well, because being on the way home, having a game, I don't think it ever worked for me in my, in my whole career <laughs> as a manager. So, but I wanted to have problems today, not exactly the problems we had, but I wanted to have problems that we fight against it and then... When the, when the kids came on, when Millie was on, bam, 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 that, that looked really, then we, we, we just, we didn't, we didn't think about the problems we had. We just tried to, to, to have a, find a few solutions. And um, so we scored two goals, two super goals from Rian, really. The second one was brilliant from him. The first one was brilliant set up from Taki and Millie. Um, so, yeah, we fought for it, got the result. We, in the end, then probably deserved because we made it too easy. The two goals they scored, that was, of course, very easy and gave the game a, a proper direction. And so like, they were now confident and defended deep and stuff like this. It's normal. I said, didn't like the game too much, but um, we can use it anyway. Just on Brewster, how impressed have you been since he's come back? 
Oh yeah, Rian, Rian is, a, is a, young, a young boy and he, he knows that, he can learn a lot of things, but he's a natural goal scorer, that's what he is. So, um, and he has to be more involved in game stuff, in, in the game when he's on a pitch, but I have to say, in the decisive moments, he's 100% there. I, I, I like that a lot and he's a wonderful kid, so that's all good, yeah. Now, if he scored three goals in two games, yeah, it's not bad, it's not a bad number, so um, no, that's okay. Uh, and does Virgil seem to be okay after yeah, his yeah. Oh, says only looks like he had a, has a piercing now, it's a, it's a plaster on it, um, so it should not be. It's, it, it is no problem. It's in the moment, of course, not cool, um, um, but um, there will not be a problem. And obviously, this wraps up the Austrian training camp. I mean, how good has it been? And, and now you've got uh, a silverware to look forward to in the next few days, or competing for silverware. Yeah. So four days until until um, the first opportunity. So we have to use that, obviously, for recovery. Yeah? There are not a lot of input anymore in training now. Um, all the things we did um, were there to prepare for a season and prepare for the first game, obviously. Yes, it's, um, it's, the preseason actually ends in uh, two weeks later, so in two and a half weeks before the game against um, uh, Leeds. But we will, we will be as ready as possible for this game. We should play better than today, then I think we have a chance and we will play better than today. So that, that's all good, but um, yeah, Austria um, was really good. The hotel was brilliant um, and um, the organization perfect. We could do what we wanted, what, what we really had to do. It was, what was really nice uh, today having supporters in the stadium, it was a, a new experience after a long, long time. And um, yeah, it makes, it makes a different atmosphere-wise obviously for a game. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully we can do something like this in England, in England, um, yeah, soon as well.